What do Drake, a Beverly Hills woman leaving her dog in the back of a hot car, and this guy? Walter. Walter. Oh, here we go. You see that? All have in common? If you said finesse, you'd be wrong. The woman who left her dog in the car got caught and ridiculed relentlessly. Terrible! Arrest her! Is that her? Skill issue, to be honest. But really, it's just that they're all part of this episode of Brain Worms! Merch link in the description. But uh, let's get started. POV, you paid 700 to stare at the back of a sign at the concert. Yoink! <laughs> Let's see that one more time. <laughs> Dude. And one more time. She's got that sign up high, baby. Cell phone in one hand, sign in both. That chick is not having it. Oh, she's not okay. Honestly, the brain worms is just oozing out of this video already. I don't know what's worse. Bringing a sign to a concert like a main character moron? Or paying seven hundred dollars to see Drake. <laughs> I'll take any mother money if he giving it away. Look, bad days, little scuffle. Little tit for tat. Looks like she got the sign back. She didn't really put up much of a fight. Imagine being so thirsty for validation in your unhealthy obsession with a famous man who doesn't even know your name that you pay 700 bucks to hold up a sign at a concert and pray that he notices you. That is a 6.2 liter turbocharged L, if I've ever seen one. Just pull out your phone and record a bunch of footage no one gives a shit about like everyone else, you <laughs> weirdo. He can't see my sign, how is he supposed to marry me now? <laughs> Oh, uh, idiot. Here we go. Speaking of idiot, this is in Beverly Hills. And there's apparently a dog in the back of this locked car. Windows up. Beverly Hills gets pretty hot sitting in the sun. Uh, I know already 98% of you guys are fuming because there is nothing the internet hates more than the mistreatment of animals. For good reason. Um, so a crowd is gathered around, a lot of people filming, clearly. They cheered at the beginning of this video because apparently, I don't know, like AAA showed up, somebody called it, he's got the wire hanger, he's trying to bust the car down. Car alarm goes off, they get in, becomes an absolute group effort. Screaming up there with a cup of water. This is the owner here, I think. Turn the alarm off, damn it! Thank you. Here we go. Now the tar and feathering commences. Bro. Let me, don't get me wrong, there's no excuse for, I don't know how this still happens. Like you, you just don't leave dogs in the back of a hot car. And like, who knows how long she was gone for. We don't have that particular context, but you just don't do it. Like leave your dog at home, figure it out. People in Beverly Hills care more about material possessions and animals than they do about humans, right? And this woman had it coming, but imagine you come out of the store, you're like just picking up a prescription at CVS, you roll out, there's like an enclave of 50 people surrounding your car with fucking cell phones and like AAA guys, two cops, like dudes feeding the dog water out of a cup. You're just like, oh shit. That's when Becky knew she fucked up. Boo! Arrest this woman, boo! This is wild, dude. The pitchforks are out. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Did you hear that shit? You should die. You should die. <laughs> oh, man. It's moments like that that make me just absolutely love these videos just ah, that one totally caught me off guard man i didn't hear that the first pass <laughs> just fucking you know what fuck it she's right gather the rest of the town 
Put up an executioner's block. Call the executioner. I don't care if it's his day off. Get him down there. Her head's getting lopped off in the town square today in front of everyone. Let's do it old medieval style right now. We have found the witch. May we burn her? Burn her! So while we wait for the rest of the town to gather for this execution, allow me to speak for a moment about today's video sponsor, Raycon, and then we'll get back to the conclusion of this video. Guys, today I am thrilled, not only because the longest running sponsor of this channel, Raycon, is having a huge six year anniversary sale, but because I'm showcasing their everyday headphones on my channel, for the very first time. If you watch me, you know I've religiously used their earbuds for almost five years, but in that time, Raycon has made a considerable name for themselves, consistently offering premium audio products at half the price of other premium brands. These headphones sound incredible. 38 hours of battery life, three sound profiles. In the comfort, I mean, I haven't confirmed, but I think the ear pads are made out of clouds, maybe? Feels like they're snuggling you, kind of. I could wear these all day, I'm not kidding. I've worn a lot of headphones, they feel insane. I've been using them on my walks, I've been using them when I binge golf videos on YouTube while I'm procrastinating in my office. Haven't gotten that tired ear feeling once. They have active noise cancellation as well, and it rules. Totally clutch when I'm flying so I can listen to music and watch movies without hearing babies screaming and my snoring row neighbor. At under a $100 price point, this makes the everyday headphones an amazing deal. And as I mentioned, this year, Raycon is turning six and celebrating the introduction of Raycon Home and Raycon PowerTech. And to thank everyone for the support over the years, they're offering 20% off everything on their site with select products up to 40% off. As usual, all you need to do is click the link in my description, that's buyraycon.com slash Leon Lush, and get 20 to 40% off your next purchase. I think you're gonna love it, and I appreciate you. I'm reporting her to You tell her! That bitch needs to go. She's reporting her to PETA. Man, there's never been a more idle threat that I've ever heard in my life. I don't... First of all, isn't it PETA? Secondly, PETA? Mm. You're gonna show your face in this town again. I'm reporting her to PETA. So fucking funny, dude. I'm sorry, this is so funny. You're not gonna show your face in this town again. I swear to God, this sounds like a video game and these are just all NPCs. It just feels like voice lines. Like, like you're rolling around in a city uh, or a village in some sort of RPG. Even like Red Dead Redemption. That sounds like Red Dead Redemption right there. Oh, if you're alive, you're coming with me. Eat oh, oh, you better not show your face in this town again. That woman needs to get under control. <laughs> Who is that? Plot twist, the woman had a kid in the back seat sweating to death the whole time as well, but people only give a shit about animals. <laughs> no, I don't think that's true. I don't know where that child came from. They'd never leave the baby in the car. <laughs> you probably wish they did, don't you? She needs to sit in the car for two hours with it rolled up. Oh my God. Let her do it. She's got sweat glands, idiot. That's a cheat code. That's the whole point. Dogs can't sweat or something. I don't, I, that's what I've heard. I don't know much about animals to be fair. Honestly, I'm surprised that nobody broke the window. I've seen videos like this before and I know some states it's actually legal. I think Florida specifically to break the window of a stranger's car if you see an animal suffering in the back in hot conditions or whatever. Most of these old bags in Beverly Hills aren't used to lifting a finger to do anything, so they'll just scream and yell and make everyone else do it, which is fine. They got to the bottom of it, dog saved, but no public beheading in the town square, no tomatoes and cabbage. Get her in one of these things, right, with the hand and the head thing, like the old, the old ass school things. It is called a pillory. So, you know, not quite the justice they were calling for. You should die! But hopefully, she learned her lesson. Oh yeah, wouldn't be a Brainworms video without a good McDonald's counter freak out. All right, I've been on this earth quite a good amount of time, turning 39 next year, I'm 38 now. Never in my life has it ever been okay to go shoeless in a McDonald's. Bruh. My God, the audacity of the, I mean, I am Nominus Patris, Spiritus Santi. Shoeless in a McDonald's? Have you no cooth? Well, I mean, you are fighting with the whole store over, I don't know, 
a medium French fry or something. I, I guess we'll find out. I don't know what I expected. No shoes in the McDonald's is actually <laughs> par for the course. So they just call her. I think. They, I think she called her a slow ass hoe. So it does seem to be about the length of time it took to acquire said bag of McDonald's. What is going? See that? You know what? No, nope. you broke the cardinal rule of McDonald's. You could have just let the crazy shoeless Jerry curl wearing a carpet walk out the door, but no, you just had to chirp them on the way out because you know they're coming back. And don't get me wrong, I get it. Like, I probably wouldn't be able to hold back either. You gotta chirp them on the way out when they're being a bag of dicks for nothing. You can't reason with crazy, you know what I'm saying? It serves nobody, right? It's very probable this person has a bag of cat piss where a brain normally resides, so it's like, just let them get out of here, move on with your night. It's not, you're not gonna get anywhere. Oh, oh, he threw the drink. Yeah, he gotta throw the drink. <laughs> <laughs> is there someone screaming? Is there a child screaming in the background? Oh my god, oh god, no! Oh no! That was the slowest fall I've ever seen. Uh, uh. Shoeless in a McDonald's. I am just beside myself. Honestly, if McDonald's keeps putting on shows this good, they're gonna have to start charging people at the door. They're, I mean, they're leaving a lot of money on the table, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I'll take a double quarter pounder with cheese, no onion, and uh, McFlurry, please. Uh, that's not a problem, sir. Just a heads up, it's $10 to get in the door if you're dining in tonight. And please, no flash photography. It disrupts the idiots screaming at each other over nothing. Ah, uh, what? Enjoy the show. This next clip I saw memed on Instagram or Twitter a week or two ago go and looks incredible we got a karen on the golf course right now apparently this guy picked up a golf ball that was allegedly one of the women's in these carts that are confronting him calling him a karen on the golf course i'm gonna take your clubs Please. I'm not getting a fight at a golf course. Then leave. I'm gonna stand here and you can complain. Goodbye. I'm not complaining. You're the one pitching. No. You're the, the one that approached me and I asked you to walk. No. Please don't speak to me. We're coming over here. You took her ball. Bro, you took her ball. Dude, I'm not gonna fight you over a fight. If you need money for a golf ball, I'm going to, Walter. Because I'll fancy you. Bitch. Now get the fuck. Walter. 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 Oh, here we go. <laughs> See that? Oh. That's what you look in the heaven. Test God, you get it. He's mentally ill. Oh. You think I'm mentally ill? I know you're Bro, that's maybe the best thing about it. That is, doing that's honestly probably one of the best videos I've seen in my time on YouTube. I can't even begin to describe how much joy that brings me. Do you see that? Do you see that? Oh. That's what you look been to heaven, bitch. I test God, you get it. I think he said that's what it looks like when you've been to heaven, bitch. You want to test God, come get it. Just a natural Shakespeare. I mean, unbelievable. But it worked. <laughs> Absolute alpha move, right? If you're a balding male of average build, there's no better way to win an argument than to rip that shirt off and go front double bicep and say some crazy shit. When you're outnumbered, just play the crazy card. Yeah, I know there's five of you, but there's nothing scarier than a middle-aged man with nothing to lose. I'm not trying to get killed over a golf ball. I'll tell you that right now. You know what, buddy? You can keep it. I don't think I'll ever be in an argument on a golf course, but if I do get in one, I now know what to do. As always, I appreciate you being here. If you could hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me, and if you don't subscribe, you should die. I don't make the rules. Beverly Hills mom does. See you in the next video. Peace.